How's it going, amazing people? Ever air? Give me another episode with more of a Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the Nintendo Switch to walk it away. So, a lot of times, because uh, we just uh, took on the, the Coliseum, well, actually, it's the this place called, uh, let me look at this up, okay. So, uh, the one with which we already are, well, we just came across through the Canyon of Awakening Mine, and it's uh, somewhere down here at the center already. Well, I mean, I. I wanted to not forget what it's, it, this place is called because it's um hold on now where exactly is that hold on is it down here somewhere oh yeah so we just passed through the uh, Babenga Groove and passed toward where we at, where it's S crossed there so this is the one I, already, I usually die so this here is the uh, secluded Coliseum this the this place where we go fight all of these uh, Lazafos and we get no reward for this well technically there won't be a, a treasure chest cloaked nearby so uh, as uh, we uh, look to where I am right now right just at the second so um I, I see that you were supposed to go and Make your way through this uh, opening narrow gateway in this uh, darkness because there was gonna be a light route there, so as we can see, what's accordingly. So uh, there's the light route right now. So we're going uh, and approach to it. So uh, yeah, I mean, last previous episode we we did pick up here is the the tunic of the hero which already got collected, and now we're we're searching for this uh, last and uh, final armor for the hero. Okay, so um, okay, I. I <laughs> I thought I saw nothing was happening, but now I, I usually saw already because they did place here is several of these Zonite devices all over the place, which we won't be worried about. But you know what? Um, let's try to get creative, okay? So uh, we can find some gear part to to equip. Okay, so we got here is the Zonite Sledge. And what else we got? Well, actually, yeah, well, there was a, a steering stick. Okay, so we'll go place a, a steering stick right about this corner. And also, we need something that can float, but that won't be necessar necessary. Alright, and we got here is these two batteries. So both two batteries will get placed. Okay, so we place both two batteries, and we got two fans on top of the shelf. So we'll place each fans in the right given order. So uh, we'll place it just like this, and we look at it on top of the other right. So that up there is a fan. So let's just go and twist and turn, and attach this fan just like that. Okay, well that should do perfectly. And we'll go in and bring one rocket down, down at the very least. Well, we're gonna bring it down at the surface. Okay, so why not attach it just like that? Okay, that'll do. So I need to, to go around here. Okay, so now we start by activating this. Okay, so we'll go take them off. So that way we have more full potential of reaching to the light route. In the right given time. All right. Well, it's much quicker that way because um, we we just are going into to some sanctuary with all of these zone light devices, just so that we can make another bit of raiding plane right out of it. So getting off of that. So we're gonna ditch the plane, and here we are. So uh, this here is the light room. That's somewhere at the Ferran grassland depths. So we're gonna skip this. Okay. So just to reveal where we are just now. So that just go dispel via darkness. Okay, so that is uh, is the easier route where we see where we are just now. So um, now there were going to be some blockades going on here. So uh, I reckon that we we keep pushing our limit through to the very least. All right, so uh, I don't have. I don't have nothing to, to get me further across, but you know what? Let me hold on. Okay, so there was going to be another frost. I mean, sure, why not? I mean, we could fight another obsidian frost. Alright, so let's go pull up our bow and, and go fight it with arrow. So the weak point is to die. Oh, come on, really? Okay, time to run. Oh, come on, can I please get you? Okay, so now it's uh, sucking us up like a vacuum cleaner, so we're gonna have to sprint quickly so that we don't get swallowed by this beast. 
All right, so let's go climb up and take a down bite surprise. So we're using this, uh, what's it, what they're called? Hold on, I need them. Come on. Okay, so that's the fire breath Lazelle blade we're using. Okay, so now I knew already because this fire breath Lazelle blade is halfway done. Can I not miss your eyeball? Please. Okay, well, I see one of my avatars are about to get swallowed up there, but they, they didn't. <laughs> Whoa, watch out. Can you hold still? Jeez. How is it so tricky to, to shoot your eyeball? Stop moving. Thank you. Alright, so now let's take out the, the oil spot of the Zonite. Hold on. So uh, let's go to Matt the Sword. Yeah, so that Matt the Sword got more energy than one. Alright, so we did pick up some flint. And yeah, now I can, I can hear the news now because the Royal Shield is almost taking badly damage, I'm afraid. It's just so tricky, I can't get his eye. And then just mega stomping all over the place. Or was it mega flop? Oh, get away from that. Get your bow and arrow ready. Alright, and then we go fully charge up in there. Alright, don't care about the Royal Shield right now. So there's only two left. Alright, well, there's only one left. Okay, good job, Tulin. We'll need that. Thanks for backing me up. Okay, so this should be the last of the weak point there. So that was it. So we can free trial of, of looking around to find more of these Zonite parts. Whatever is lying around. I mean, we just go pick some of them up. Alright, so we already picked up here is a lot of these Zonites there. So we pick up here is um, it's still like, um, how many are we picking up? Okay, that's 126. Okay, so we got here the Obsidian Frost Fan. But do we actually... Took that picture already? Let me make sure. Okay, so that Obsidian Frost fan got picture taken already. Okay, so we'll gladly be needing one in case we wanted to defuse the Obsidian Frost one right out of it. Oh, wait a minute. I lost my mind. What is it? A fang. Okay, it was a fang, not some horn. Okay, so we'll just pick it up here. It's the Obsidian Frost fangs, and that was it. So uh, we got, got whatever, whatever mini bot we got going on, it's the Stone Tell Us. So uh, yeah, I want to keep it clear how much stamina I have on my vessel. So we're just gonna have to keep a close eye out for that. And over to the other side, so there was a stone tell us. All right, well first we got the frost, and now we got here if you uh, wait a minute. Now, now hold on, what is that energy core I'm looking at there? Okay, uh, Rigi, where you at? Um, I I need you to to come to me. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, so I do want to fight another stone us. If only I can go around you. Now will be nice. Come on, dude. I was going to run away from that. Alright, so I can attack you from behind. Let me get some pose up. Well, actually, I can destroy you with... Now, what can I destroy you with? Okay, so I got several of these good options for my materials. So uh, I got bomb flower. So uh, I'll go use bomb flower for this. That may seem like my best option short to go use, but I I'm gonna just use shot, shot fruit. Okay, I I, don't, I just can't see how to get get away from that. Okay, hold on. So let's shot fruit this time. Okay, let's run away. Just run away. Run away nice and slow. Alright, so now... No, no, no. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. Oh my gosh, it wasn't L. I pressed the wrong button. How stupid am I? Jeez. It was the up stick. Hold on. Can you... 
Hold still. Stop turning your body around. Thank you. I don't know if we can keep this up because the stone teller is moving his body too much. And I can't get his weak point somewhere. But no, let's try this. Can we use... No, no, no. Puff Stop attacking me. For once, please. Okay, but let's try Mother Boat, but see what happens. Yeah, you get confused. Stay confused. And then you go, you bomb flower. Okay, I got no night bow, so uh, let's just use something else. No other than using the. You no, know, I got the spike boker bow. Let's waste one of that bow. Okay, well that thing did misses. So you were supposed to stay confused. So how in the world are you picking up another rock on the floor? Okay, I need Richie for this. Uh, can I get Richie out? Thank you. Okay, stop turning your body around. Okay, so now we get up to- Oh, actually, wait, I don't think we can. No, I I'm gonna keep you confused more. I mean, all of these uh, bows are draining down so quick. So, um, I need Rigi for this. Uh, Rigi, come over here. You're just, can you just stay confused and stop attacking me? How are you still attacking me? You were supposed to stay confused. Alright, well, let's keep that up. Rigi needs to be the best option to take down the, the Stone Talus. Alright, so let's make sure we, we keep you confused. And go switch a weapon, whichever weapon we have. I mean, this... Well, technically, the, the, the plus bow doesn't really matter anymore. Let's just go use one. And also, I do need... Ruji to come over here real quick. Alright, well, let's get away. Get away from the rock blast. Alright, just one more, and it's history. Yeah, so I really want to keep that confused. We're keeping the rock teller confused. Alright, come on. Let me go around you. There you go. Alright, Stone Teller, it was nice knowing you, but uh, you had to die, so thank you for coming by to challenge me. I will gladly be picking up more of you stuff all over your material, and also, uh, I do want to to start by feeding or whatever weapon I have, but you know what, I got here this uh, C Breed Boomerang, which I still have on me, so let's uh, try feeding to it and see what we make right out of it. Okay, so we did make here it the Luminous Stone Teller Boomerang. Okay, well, that adds up more by 37. That shouldn't be too bad. But uh, I would still keep going with one master sword for now in case that that weapon get low out of energy. Okay, so I think I only go here if that we find another light route we'll find some more health to repair. Okay, so let's just keep pushing further. And I don't see any light route yet, so I will it's a it's funny games actually because you just still keep picking up what pose on the ground. Well, I mean whatever is left on the ground we just go pick them some of them up. And also let's go back to Bright Blue Seed. I mean this bow can can shoot double arrows. So we're just gonna have to keep scrolling further to a right. And find the giant black blue seed, which is right there. So I only got here 36. Okay, and look at the bright side. Now, if we look here, so um, if we look to our right, so there was the bright blue seed. No, not the, the it was the, the light room, not bright blue seed. Okay, so let's go take, take out some of these McCoblin first. Okay, so wait for that to explode. Alright, so we're going to take you out with uh, one strike. Okay, seriously? Okay, I got... No Where's my shield? 
Come on now, P take out your shield. Oh my god, this is my last life. Uh, yellow Chi-Chi, don't come any near me. Don't come any near- Don't go any near that. Okay, so it strikes first, and then we strike ourselves. I only got one heart left. So please don't mess this up. How is the music still playing? How many more Bokoblins are there? Hold on. Uh, let me go do this one. Do, do this way. Yeah, so I got the Luminous Stone Teller Boomerang. We'll go use that. Okay, well, the games are not over yet, so there's one other problem. Okay, so I got two new weapons that I fused. So I got another Flame Gleo Reaper and the Silver Boss Boko S, so that's back in stock. Well, I only got one of this uh, boss, the Silver Boss Boko left on me. So I'll go use the Flame Gleo to take it down. Okay, so that go in, that go finish off the Lizalfo quickly, and I got myself another Spike Bogobo. So, yeah, so let's go for the white main line now, Pounder. But, damn, they have 116? D you, dude, I have not seen how much, how much of this uh, accuracy this uh, white, ma this uh, white main like now hammer has. I mean, it has so much. Okay, so I got back my royal sh shield. I'll, I'll gladly be taking one. Uh, I'll gladly be taking one of his arrow too. So uh, we'll, we'll go pick up everything what's left on the ground. And speaking of which, uh, that's a rock hammer. I don't, I don't think I have no interest in picking up that rock hammer. Okay, no, 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 S steady, steady. Okay, so we'll keep our lighting up the place. And we'll go follow this trail. Okay, so we do got a long way of reaching to the uh, light route. Okay, so I don't want to take much further damage. If I take too much damage, it's going to be game, game over for Link. I don't want to step into one of those group things. So I got myself another Muddle Bud. Okay, so we can still keep climbing up this. Alright, and over on the other side, so if there's a bomb flower we can pick up, so let's pick up one of the bomb flower and move on. Alright, and let's just keep on pressing. Okay, so we got more wave than one of just sprinting up further heights. Alright, so please tell me we're gonna make that, please tell me. We're gonna make that, right? I bet we are. Okay, so there we saw there's another light route. So let's approach the light route. Alright, well that was close. I mean, we did survive just only one one heart. So we'll go skip this light route. And look at the scene where we are just now. Okay, well this is the place. This is kind of brand new to us. Alright, so we get all, all of our hearts back. I don't know, I mean, we have a lot of hearts on us. We have more than 16 hearts. That's how much hearts we have. Alright, so now let's go eat everything. I mean, it felt to me because we had to go back and do some more cooking right after this. Alright, well, we'll just keep eating everything. Um, Okay, let's eat the... the yeah, we'll eat the, the salt to grill meat if you like. Okay, so we're just filling up my bellies here. Okay, so uh, let me go to materials. So uh, I'm gonna eat some more raw meat instead. All right, and we are feeling fresh and nice and better. All right, so let's uh, pick up camera just in case, and let's continue the trail. Okay, so just to look at where the next armor might be. So I think it had gotta be somewhere around between this area. So I think that's where it tells where to find the the cap of the the the, the cap of a hero. That's what it's called. 
Alright, so now approaching down to this. So we're not getting halfway close to the armor just yet. So what we got is a little bit long, a little bit more weight than one. I mean, we got a long trailer ahead of us. Okay, well these are some of the other zone I parts I'm I'm not quite interested at the moment, so we're just gonna have to wait a minute. Hold on, let's uh rest first before we climb. Okay, now we can climb. So we wanna make sure we get more stamina first and then keep climbing because I, I can see how high up the mountains are. So we're just gonna have to the keep sprinting by pressing X while we jump. Okay, so we still got more Lazarfo's activity. So now I think I'm ready to go take them out with. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to decide what to choose, but, but we're gonna have to pick one and decide. But we gotta use the fire keys, I but let's go use that. All right, and you know what? Um, no, I already got. I don't want to use the bow. I, I want to use weapon. Okay, so let's use the flame Leo Reaper again, which at 37. Oh come on! Stop missing! Can I please get you? Get out of my way, you fool! Yeah, that's right, you get yellow choo choo. Okay, so let's take out this Lazalfo. I mean, this Lazalfo is gonna pay. Okay, now I did not see you there. Okay, you get the flank, Leo. And also, I want to move back to the Silver Bot Boko S again. Okay, so we have a direct target to take out this, this Black Bokoblin. And also, I do need to switch a, a bow. So which bow do I have? Okay, I'm going to keep going with the Spike Boko bow. That's the one I usually still have. Okay, so all of these Zonite will get collected. And we'll still keep picking up the uh, Spike Boko Bow. Right. Okay, sir, serve you right. Well, I mean, that's one way to build enough damage. So now we get to go in free trial. I'll pick up some more few stuff around here. Alright, so climbing up this, so we'll, so we'll definitely feel much better. I mean, we have more than 399 arrows. Okay, so we can move down some. And look at here, so uh, if we go in and approach with down beneath. Okay, so the armor has got to be down here somewhere. I don't think that's where the armor is at. I may be going the wrong direction. So let's try going underneath somewhere. I mean, why not try going beneath here? I think that's where we go find out where the next armor is. Okay, so we can feel free to, to climb up the giant roots. And there had to be like a, a Yuka Clan hideout somewhere that we can knock out. If we could find one, I mean, if we're if we're capable of being lucky, I mean, we, we find out where where all of these Yuga Clan hideouts are. Okay, so let's climb up this route again, and then still we can still we can keep on finishing up our goal here, or climbing up these routes. Alright, keep going. Alright, well this is a, a super long... A super long climbable edge to reach there. So, um, this, this may not be it, so which way are we going? I'm assuming it had got to be this way. Okay, so let's go take off and figure out where we are. Okay, so we, we're nearly at the right place. So we just gotta keep going around it. 
So we'll just go around and find out where where that armor is. I mean, if, in case that we we find a light route, I mean that work that might that might work easily. So I did waste four of my hearts in the depths. If there were gonna be another frost there, so I don't I don't think this is the best time to be fighting a frost again, so no. Now's not the time we'd be fighting frogs. I mean we find all of these different types of obsidian frogs way more easier. So uh, I think it's time we move on back to to the giant bright balloon seed. Like I know um I'm I'm a low proportion of giant bright balloon seed now, so I can only shoot but just only one on my arrow. Alright, so we can paraglide and just to figure out where we are. Okay, so we're gonna light everything, but you know what? Let's just switch to the Savage Lanel bow. Uh no. It's in the giant breath we see we need. So we just wanna see everything. Okay, so we had to be in the right place. I don't think this is where we find uh, the light room anywhere. That's odd. Okay, so what I'm looking at down there, so that down there is a, a large Poe I'm looking at. So we shoot three arrows. Okay, so down there, that had got to be the, the last of his armor. Okay, now we're, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so I, I could still use the silver bot vocal X if I wanted to, so no. Stop crouching, please. I did not ask to the crouch. I did not press, tap the R button to crouch. Okay, so you know what? This, so it seems like this white main like nail powder did decrease down by 58 now. Okay, and this uh, this white main Lionel Pounder is taking badly, badly damaged that fat. Well, we got the Luminous Stone Teller Boomerang we can still use. Alright, so we'll go use that. Alright, so we'll go pick up Zone Knight much easier. Alright, keep going, Link. Keep going. Keep breaking. Alright, so we still got plenty more to break. So there's still more? Okay, so we got more on top. Okay, not now guys. Come on, put the those that stuff away. We don't we don't want that. Okay, let, let's just wait till it wears off. Hopefully they can stop. Well actually no, let's just approach the uh, the treasure chest. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so open this up. So we, we figure what we got inside. So we got here the cap of a hero. Okay, so that there is our last of his armor we able to to pick up and explore beneath the depth. So according to according to legend, it's a cap which are once a treasure by an aging hero. It's a quite pretty simple cap, but yet there is something about it that just so appealing. Okay, so uh, we go to our inventory. So here it is now. So this here is a complete armor set for for Link. So um, have we. Come on, now I want this uh, lightning ray to stop. Alright, thank you. Okay, so if we look at here, so this is what Link is uh, truly capable of. So this here is his his uh, cool and true look. Uh, uh, I mean, whatever uh, the uh, mechanic uh, be, of the, the look of Link, I mean, I, I just love his, uh, his new fashionable look. Okay, so um, look at here. So it's a look to me because uh, we don't have to go anywhere underneath here anymore. So that was it. Okay, so one more thing that we have not get here. So um, it's a look to me because we did trademark to to locate and to to find all of these different types of light route and everything. So uh, I recommend that we go and find out where this S mart is located. So uh, I want to go ahead and do one more. So uh, let's try to locate to find where this uh, next new armor is. Where whatever it's uh, S mart, we we go in and check what's at the west. 
Okay, and once we're done with the adept, so, so we'll probably take a break and hopefully we'll do some more things uh, back up at the surface, like finding more shrines or taking on several people's side quests, whatever we have to do. But it felt to me because we have um, not done done enough uh, expedition around here by locating to explore, by uh, knocking out all of these caves up, which already got checked off. Because we do got to get that finished. And that's the most important step. So uh, we are getting halfway close to where we need to be. Alright, so our only goal here is that we, we have rest and locating to find where the chest is. Alright, so if, if we uh, keep pushing, so we're going to keep pushing further. So there were going to be some more, more monsters activity. Okay, so it's best that we ignore them, but you know what, let's just take them out by surprise. Alright, so we will go for... Well, actually, we, if we keep scrolling some more, we'll, we'll find what we need. Okay, so now I'm going to just uh, wrap this up with my... My shot... Tra my, my shot trap? What is it? No, 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 hold on. I, I have brain farted. What, what is it called? The brain light stone? Okay. That's what it's used to call it. Okay, so I think it's time we, we switch the weapon. Let's switch to Flame Gleot Reaper for now. Alright, keep that a guy. Let him have him. Keep going. Okay, you deserve to die. And you, sir, you deserve to, to get Light Light Stone. So let's see how much will that hit you. Okay, not enough. But you know what? I don't want this bow to go to waste, so let's just use the Spike Boker bow for now. Okay, well, yeah, well, the throwing spear we have to do for now. Alright, keep going. Okay, so we're gonna need that block advantage. Okay, Silo, you put some more work to it. Alright, can you start stepping up? Come on. I just wish you'd be still for me. Okay, so can someone take out Vistula Zalfo? But I can confuse it with a uh, Mother Bud. In, in case we have one. But now nah, I got the keys eyeball. Let's see how well that do. Will you not do that? Well, I got the mother butt right now. Okay, so this Lazafo is holding a a different bow. Or whatever bow I'm looking at. So I need that bow. Okay, so this is my last energy for this master sword, which I still have. So I got the steel Lazar bow. Okay, so that's all we can manage. So I'm now I'm stuck with four hearts. So hold on. So how is that enemy still alive? Can you just get lost? Thank you. Okay, so now it's time to switch a weapon. So uh, we're gonna switch to you know we have not used a soldier free reaper in a while. So let's go use one and hopefully. Yeah, well let's uh, remove some bow. So I think I'm done playing with the spike boker bow for now. So yeah, let's move on to the Lazabo. bow. It may have enough kicks to it, so uh, we'll, we'll probably give another try for this Lazabo. bow. Okay, so what uh, we got here is five bu bundle of arrows. And yeah, so let's pop, let's um, let, let's do a split real quick. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do another split while we, we locate to to find out where the the, the next armor is, so I, I will see you in just a minute. All right, so here we are. So it, it looked to me, Kato, we have uh, finally approached the, um, the the Death Nest Cannon Mine. Okay, now Death Nest Cannon Mine is where we are now. So let's start by climbing up this, and hopefully we go and approach the chest. Chest. So we'll open it, see what we get inside, and we go kick it. So seeing what we get here, so we got here is the minor top for glow. Okay, so it says the shirt feature and lamps of various sizes filled with a 
bioluminescent material made to the help of with the excavating the dry environments. Cool. All right. So uh, look at here. So uh, we got here it's the, between the the minor tops. So we're going quick this. So we got here it the the minor trouser and the top. So those were the two. So I think the last one we need to get is for the the helm on it. So yeah. So we it's, it's probably for the best. We we go wait for that later. So as we take a look at here. So yeah, now it's a pretty cool actually. So it's a look to me because we can, we can now f bypass by uh, glowing in the uh, the dark more in the, in case that uh, we wanted to to see what we are. I mean, now we can like a uh, free pass to to go around with the whole place whatever we like. I mean, it's a, such a great a good experience. I mean, I I just I love to the scene the um, the way how sick Link to new armor looks. I mean, just the way to imagine. I mean. He is in a fully in a, in a minor armor now, so uh, we do need to find out where the last one is. So, you know, I do believe that's going to have to do it for today, you guys. So, next time on the Lesson Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, we'll probably go and move out of the, the depths. And once we're out of the depths, so we can free child to, to go around the, the whole the whole world of Hyrule just like, seeking out to see what we can do next. Well, there's going to be several more of these armor which we, we do need to stick around to, to locate to find. So that's something we can pick this up on later on the next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere and you will be particular and stay tuned on the next series. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune and watch this episode. So if you enjoyed this series and want to see more of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, be sure to leave an avatar to like, share the video, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, ring that notification bell so that you'll be up there notified to when my new some awesome videos up on your way. So that's going to be a for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We will be picking up more on the next one. So take care, you guys. I hope to Talk to you on the next video.